Hello, I'm Boz, and I'm co-owner of Boz Saddlery with my wife Annie. And for years, um, I think we have now a total of 450, 500 different items that we custom build in our shop. And so many different customers have always wanted to know how to adjust this and how to clean that, basically how to ride it. So what we're going to try to do today the best we can is to come up with some steps on how to fit the pads, how to adjust the saddle, where it should sit. Then I'll go get a horse. We're going to show how it goes on the horse and do some riding, show you some different things. And um, it's kind of like we, we call the system of Boz U-Edit. This is a really a small company. It's a family-owned company. We've been doing it probably for about, well, I've been doing it since 1975, so over 30-something years that I've been working on this stuff. I worked with a gentleman named Monty Foreman without a question, has taught, done more for the horse world than anybody I've ever met. And he taught uh, 95,000 students out of that. 22 of us became instructors, and I believe there's only two or three of us left in the world today. So you'll see with our technique, and I now have changed it and added things in, in my own thoughts and came up with a new system called Bozage, B-O-Z-Z-A-G-E, and it was designed to be 95% more effective than dressage towards training a top performance horse and a super rider. And we're going to show you because of the gear and our technique why I can help you and your horse get 95% more. Without saying much more, I'll just start going through some of these things we have hanging up and this is just kind of a, a quick thing on, on most of the things we use. The next thing I'm going to add is the head stall and the head stall is my leather one. Whoa, horse. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. <laughs> we're going to put on my leather head stall. The last one we used the bridle halter combo. This one we're going to put on the leather one. And we'll show you how that all adjusts. This one's pretty cool. This is the new improvement. I'm going to take in, before I take that halter off, I'm going to make sure I got him with the rope. I'm going to drop the halter. Again, tie him up back here so I got something. I'm going to enlarge in the size. He's a four and four. They're numbered. This, this uh, head stall also, you can put snaps in it and put our foreman bit or any kind of shank bit by just uh, undoing these little Chicago screws. And there's special bit snaps that you can uh, lengthen these things down. So I'm going to go ahead and lengthen this down so it doesn't pull so much on the corners. I'll go ahead and put this up. Make sure my forearm's against him. Open the mouth. Bring it up. <clears throat> now get your head down. What in the world was that? Had that thing all twisted up. Let's try that thing again. I'm going to take it out and put it back on again. Drop that bit. Quit screwing with me. Okay. I got that whole side all twisted up. Okay, let's go ahead and put the bit in. Walk this up. Bring his head down. Bring it in. this forelock straighten this up again I'm gonna stand in front take all the slack out in this case it's hanging down too low when I pull all the slack so I'm gonna come up on number four and four now I take the slack out and it rests right in the corner of his mouth I'm gonna take this throat latch put on number four so when I bend his head then I can still get my two fingers in there, doesn't choke him down. Everything is numbered on these bits. Head stalls. And then the last thing here is this little nose band. And the little nose band, we're going to open it up. And this is the new invention of mine with this piece over the top of his nose. This not only holds the bit up, stops the bit from falling down. These half moons keep it in line. That mouthpiece is going up perfect over his tongue. 
but also this strap stops a bit from falling down and it holds the the little drop nose band out in front you don't have to have another strap and whatever going through here with a flashing it's all designed in the bit everything on these head stalls are hand hand sewn this is a labor of love very few people are doing that anymore they're basically buying store-bought machine stitched and the quality is not even close to something like this so now there's my little nose band attached to the head the bit we don't have extra straps coming down alongside of his face and his nose we have the slobber straps these bits can, these reins can be adjusted let me go ahead and get rid of this halter Just throw this, put this thing, I would just lay it right here because I'm going to come back and undress him. And then we have the reins with sticks, I'll throw them up and over. And then you can see the martingale would come down and attach in place. I adjust the martingale, top the shoulder and the throat latch. This piece could come up a little bit, it's a little bit long. It's farther than two fingers out in front here. Here, here, and there's the slobber straps. And the way that they adjust, you can lengthen and shorten these reins accordingly because it doesn't have snaps. And this is where we get our lateral control.